Kumusta? My name is Victor. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new slider from Zeppon. This is the new Axis slider and that it has a built-in pan head. So this video is going to be like a mix of first setup, walkthrough, unboxing, what the features are kind of video. So they sent me the Micro 3 before, but I had to buy the Pond Speed T-Pan head for that one. But the Axis slider has a built-in pan head. It's quite easy to set up. There's foldable legs on each corner and that you can easily tuck them away as well. And that if you do want to put them on stands or a heavy duty tripod, there's a lot of mounting points on the bottom so that you can set it up however you'd like. For me, what I'm going to use with this one is a heavy duty tripod mounted in the middle and use the support rods that come with it. But if you have a longer version of the slider, you're going to need two stands or maybe even three stands. Now for the slider itself, if we flip it on the bottom, there's a motor and a manual switch and that if you put it on manual you can freely move the slider side to side there's no dampening though so it's as loose as this and that you'd have to rely on your arms for consistent movement there's also measurement markers on the rails and also on the pan head for your rotation angles now you can operate the motor on the pan head because again it's built in on the slider itself you can press the buttons left or right to move it left to right and you can press up or down to figure out where you want to do the pants. You can easily set A and B points on the pan head itself on the control panel and if you press play it resets first and it goes to point A and then it does do the smooth slider movement from point A to point B. Now if you press the repeat button it's going to do the slider movement back and forth from A to B back to A. Now with the control panel, you can't really set A and B points unless you reset both. And that's kind of like a nuance for me. It's gonna slow you down on set, especially if you wanna change A and B points a lot of times. Now Zeppon sent me the tilt head as well and that you can use the control panel through the settings to connect the tilt head with the pan so that they're in sync together. One thing I've noticed though is that when I try to connect the tilt head for the first time after powering it on, it doesn't really connect well. And you'd have to connect it the second time until it fully connects with the pan head. And this is a pre-production model and I have told them this was an issue. So hopefully they fix it with a firmware update. Now, if you wanna set your A and B points with the left to right, with your pan and your tilt, you're gonna to have to do it individually. So you have to set your slider point, you have to set your pan point, and also you have to set your tilt point. When you do change the speed, the tilt head disconnects. And again, I told them this, hopefully it gets fixed on a firmware update. They told me to update the firmware and I have, and it still doesn't fix the issue, but hopefully on the production units, this issue is resolved. Now the noise of this one is a little bit louder than the Micro 3. And I think it's just how they built the slider. And if you're doing audio work, this might be an issue for you. But for me, I'm using it for product shots, smooth product shots, product videos. And this won't be an issue because I don't do audio on these things. Now that we've kind of gone through everything in the manual side of things, using the app with this slider, the Zeppon Lab, really elevates the experience using this slider. It was easy to connect. It wasn't disconnecting on the app at all. And that you can set multiple waypoints, A, B, C, D, I think up to G or something like that. There's a lot. If you've used the Zeppelin Lab app before, it's gonna feel super familiar. It's, it's basically the same. You get all the controls on your phone and that even if you change the speed on your phone, the tilt head is still connected compared to if you change it manually on the pan head, on the built-in pan head, it causes issues and it disconnects the tilt head for some reason. But with the app, it's like, again, it's super smooth and I hope that they have the functionality and the convenience, the, the user experience of the app on the control panel on the pan head. But yeah, I think overall, if you use the access slider with the app, it's going to be smooth sailing. Now I still have to take this on actual jobs. Again, this is just like kind of like a walkthrough unboxing, kind of like first impressions video of this slider. And I hope to figure out which one I like more, the Micro 3 or the Axis slider, because I think the price point is different. And also the Micro 3 is better for travels and that the Axis slider is just 
big and massive. Overall, it's a good slider with a built-in pan head. If you guys have any questions about this slider, anything that you want me to test with the slider, feel free to comment down below. If you want to check out my Micro 3 video, click on this video right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.